Hello friends, welcome back to Block Tribe. In this video, we will be learning about Kechak 256 algorithm. Seeing the word Kechak, you might have thought about the famous Balinese dance, Kechak dance. This word actually comes from that. Don't get too serious, I am just kidding. There are actually no references if this word has come from the dance or no. So, let's get started. What it is used for? It is used for mainly three things. Unique IDs creation, commit reveal scheme contract, and digital signatures. What is commit reveal scheme contract? It's basically you commit a particular code and then you reveal it at some point of time. These kind of contracts can be done using Kechak 256 algorithm. We'll dwell into this further. What we will learn from this video, we learn how to use Kechak 256 algorithm function and we'll also learn how does it work with ABI encode packed and ABI encode. So let's get started. Basics of Kechak 256 hash functions algorithm. It takes byte as input to convert data for which we use ABI encode and ABI encode packed. It computes a hash of input to a fixed length of 32 bytes and 64 characters, which can be in the form of alphanumeric or you can say as letters and numbers. It can also be represented as hexadecimal numbers. It is a one way cryptographic hash function which cannot be decoded in reverse. Now we'll look into how we can use this. Let's hop on to our Remix ID and let's get started. So let's start by taking a look how Kechak works. So we'll define a function named hash value and we'll take in a string memory name you can say and which would be of pure external and uh, it would return returns bytes 32 bytes 32 because uh, kechak function returns bytes 32 and then you can write return kechak 256 and we can encode the values by encode uh, you can use abi encode or you can use abi encode packed so i'm taking a packed uh, for now and we'll just pass the name here and I think so yeah that's it so let's deploy this function and see what happens so when you open up this you see a name a hash value now just try passing in values and see what what comes out as a hash so we say block drive and we try to run this so we get a hash which is of bytes 32 and now similarly if even if, if i if I make a small change into this and make it as tribe uh, instead of the E, I make it a A and uh, get the hash value. So, so you see a dr drastic difference between the hash. So this is how Kechak 256 algorithm works. Even a small change in the input gives out a drastic change in the hash. There might be a question that if we provide a smaller string and a bigger string. So let's try giving a smaller string like a block and you see the hash and now if i again if i say block drive is best so you see the same uh, the output of the function is always bytes 32 uh, if you even if you give a single character to this function it will always give a hash which is of bytes 32 so it is always of fixed length now now to encode our values we used abi encode packed and abi encode let's simply first look at how how we can create let's simply look at how how to use abi encode packed and abi encode so uh, we say abi encode and just
returns so this would so uh, abi encode returns bytes and say memory now similarly i can also create a function for abi encode packed which would be just the same and yes so i think so we are almost okay i think the so function names are different okay yeah so let's try deploying this and see how does abi encode and encode packed are different now when you see that uh this is abi encode and this is abi encode packed now let's try passing in block try and okay let's copy the same input to abi encode packed and when we run this and when we run this we see there's a vast difference in the uh, in the bytes now in the abi encode it is basically padded with zeros whereas in abi encode it is compressed uh, the the hash is compressed so this is the basic difference between abi encode where the the value of uh, the uh, the input is uh, padded with zeros whereas in an abi encode packed it is compressed now why am i explaining you this because there is a particular example where abi encode packed can give collisions how can that happen let's uh, try to change our code a bit and then we'll see into it now let's try to make this as first name and we we'll change this to string memory last name and we we'll do something like first name comma last name okay so let's go ahead and deploy this function and see how block uh, how encode pack gives out collisions so if we just simply pass block as the first name and try as the last name it would give out this hash now i simply remove the k from block and put it with try it would and try to run this function now it also it also gives the same hash so what does it mean that two different values can give out one particular hash so this is called a collision now how can we remove this error from solidity we can use abi encode so instead of this you can just say something like that something like value_encode encode now simply i go ahead and deploy what i would get is i would get four functions this is the encode function now simply i'll just take this value i put it here and i put it here so this uh, this has generated the uh, encode pack function has generated this hash whereas this has uh, this function has generated uh, this particular hash if i make small change i remove that k back from try and put it with block and i do the same thing with uh, the uh, value with encode i when i do it with encode pack it gives uh, it gives me the same hash but when i do it with uh, abi encode now you see there is a difference in the abi uh, the hash which has been generated by the abi encode so this is how abi encode and abi encode pack uh, generates a basic difference so how would you basically choose between abi encode and abi encode pack which encoding to be used so generally it is recommended to use abi encode where there is a chance of collision so that is it for the video guys in this video we have learned about how kcheck function works how we we can use kcheck function how uh abi encode and abi encode packed works how we can avoid collisions in abi encode packed we will come up with some other topics in the next video if there is something specific which you would like me to cover please let me know in the comment section below until then please share subscribe 
just to appreciate the initiative thank you